Now let's go into the passages that he was alluding to. Let's go to 2 Thessalonians 2, 9 to 12. 2 Thessalonians 2, 9 to 12. Remember, if only these apologists had worked through these texts. Thank you, Ryan. Right? Sounds like Satan, doesn't it? Not the true God of the Bible. If only these apologists were to work through these texts, then they'd be like me, God's gift to apologetics. All right. All right. 2 Thessalonians 2, 9 to 12. All right? Even him. Now, it's talking about the man of lawlessness. Right? When we call the Antichrist arising in the latter days before Christ returns. Even him, the man of lawlessness, whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Now, pay attention. Who's empowering the man of lawlessness to perform miracles, wonders, to deceive and lie and mislead people? Who's actually giving him the power to do it? Who's working through him to do these signs and wonders to deceive people from the truth? Who's doing it here, guys? God or Satan? God, right? Okay. Let's read because I want you to put that in mind because this is one of the texts he alluded to. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish. So who's perishing? Who's falling for the lies? The lying wonders, miracles that convince them that the man of lawlessness is truly God? And worthy of their worship and allegiance? Who's perishing? Who's falling for these lies? Those who, through their unrighteousness, suppress the truth, who love wickedness and deceit more than they love the truth. Really? You don't see it? Okay. Because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. Bam. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion. That they should believe a lie. That they all might be damned who believed not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. There you go. Now, what does it mean? God caused them to, you know, to believe a lie. Sent them a strong delusion. In the context, what is the strong delusion that God sent? What was the strong delusion that God sent upon them? In the context, what is this referring to? Now, Grace Girl said agent. What agent? Is God sending who's actually the one doing the deceiving, doing the deception, the trickery, the scheming? Satan, man, all you guys got it. God is sending them Satan because Satan has to get God's permission to do this to empower the man of lawlessness to do wonders and miracles to dupe people into following the man of lawlessness to their destruction. Why? Because you just read. They hate the truth. They suppress the truth. They love their wickedness and unrighteousness. So God is giving them what they desire and justly so. Once again, help me understand, because I don't have a doctorate like James White does. And I'm not in a PhD program like James White. Help me understand. Is this at all analogous to what we just read in the Quran? Is this at all similar to what we read in the Quran? You got it, Mickey. He's Allah's not even the dirt under the shoes of Jesus our Lord. Okay. 